Namaste. Now we are going to speak about the daily routine, the sun routine. In Ayurveda, we have a specific set of information for when the sun light is dominating, when, when the moonlight is dominating. The sunlight period we call Dina. Charya is routine. Dina Charya is the routine that we should follow when there is sunlight. And Ratri, Ratri, Navaratri, Ratri Charya is the routine that we should follow when it's night. This is going to be in another video. So, if you are Western people or you live in Western countries, probably it's going to be a little bit crazy to wake up very early in the morning to pray. In Hinduism, in India, this is not so <laughs> uh, strange. Actually, it's very common to listen to temples 5 a.m. playing their music and this kind of stuff. But in the West, it's uh, probably good enough to start the day before the sunrise, maybe half an hour or maybe one hour before the sunrise, so we can uh, wake up when the mood of the night day is still uh, soft and it's still subtle and it's still calm. In Ayurveda, the first impression that you have before, uh, after you wake up is going to predominate during the day. So if you wake up and everything is easy and quiet and calm, probably your mind is going to be easy, quiet and calm, focused during the day. After you wake up, the first thing in Ayurveda that we should do is to take some water, some warm water maybe, some warm water with some lemon or some aloe vera juice or some honey, depending on which is your um, unbalance. This we are going to specify in your consultation, but it can be different solutions. It also can be coconut water and this kind of stuff. This um, input in your body is going to help you to go to the toilet to uh, pass the stools, as we spoke before in the other video. After this, it's good for you to make some stretches. And there is one uh, kind of yogic exercise called Surya Namaskar. There is sun salutation that is already um, known in the West. We are going to uh, show it a little bit soon. And also there are some uh, breathing techniques, like the one that is going to increase your lung capacity, the Bastrika. All these pranayamas we are going to show in this series after some time because there are a lot of topics. Here is more general concept of how to live well during the day according to Ayurveda. And after you do some stretches, you should take a shower, you should uh, produce some sweat, you should pass the urine, so all your uh, metabolic waste accumulated during the night are excreted and uh, when the sun is coming you're doing sun salutation and all the stuff and this is a way that you can uh, give proper attention to your body before the day starts after this you can go and uh, have some um, more strong physical exercise if you need you can do some meditation if you rather or you can do any kind of uh, pleasant moment with you, with your mind, with your body. If you have young children, probably you're going to pay, need to pay attention to them. After this, one hour, two hours after you wake up, probably you're going to uh, start to feel hungry. In Ayurveda, you don't have to eat just after you wake up. You need to uh, wait your body to start up the system, the digestive system, and then when it's hungry, you're going to eat. The first meal is not supposed to be a very strong meal. It's supposed to be a meal that it's going to just like wake up, 
comfortably your digestive system and we are going to speak about it um, better in the next video and then you should uh, um, be aware not to hurry all your routine because you wake up late you should take the moment to uh, see what you need to do during the day and this kind of stuff and for the next three hours you can be going to work, working and all the stuff because around 10, 11 you are probably going to feel hungry again since the first breakfast in the morning is not supposed to be a full meal it's, it can be uh, that it, in, during 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock you start to feel some hunger and maybe you are going to uh, have a, a stronger meal than the first or maybe you are going to take some fruits and a light meal just to get into the lunch with your uh, biggest uh, appetite during the day in Ayurveda you should not spoil your lunch if you are uh, without any kind of hungry during the morning and are just taking tea, don't worry, for Ayurveda this is not a prime but in the lunch time you should be very um, hungry not exceedingly hungry from 0 to 10 it should be from uh, counting 0 as no hungry at all and 10 just like starving you should eat from the 7 to the 9 you are very hungry you are with uh, a lot of things going in your belly saying please give me food but you are not uh, just like a crazy person knocking the person in front of you because you are not with your plate in your hand and uh, midday 1 2 p.m. maximum uh, around 6-7 hours after you wake up 6-8 to eight hours it should, uh, should be the main meal of the day this main meal should uh, be a full meal and it should be eaten with um, time <laughs> you should be uh, willing to take the food and not very busy with other stuff talking in the phone and worry about other stuff you can be talking to other people you can be just eating you can be maybe reading you can be um, with friends but the point is that if one if anyone asks you what you're doing you should answer I'm eating <laughs> not I'm reading not I'm talking not I'm uh, uh, writing you have to be mainly eating your main focus, your main uh, awareness should be in your food all the meals but since Ayurveda puts a large um, importance in the lunch in the lunch this is the most essential not to eat uh, junk food on the way to another uh, job uh, reunion and this kind of stuff Okay well after you eat the lunch you should take some digestive aids to your um, to your belly like you can eat some anise or you can eat some ginger or you can eat cinnamon or you can have some tea depending if you're thirsty or not if you're not thirsty you can chew if you're thirsty you can drink it 3-4 hours after that we are going to take the um, maybe the sugar oily carbohydrate meal of the day it's very important that we don't skip this meal and we don't take things that are very uh, let's say healthy and dry during this time like bars of protein or bars of cereals we should take like uh, cakes, we should take uh, acai, we should take uh, acai, it should be not so cold. <laughs> uh, we should take um, things that are donuts. I'm not saying that you should eat right white sugar, but the point is it has to be very uh, powerful in carbohydrates and also with good fats, oils. 
you can take cashews, peanuts and uh, avocado depending on your situation we are going to specify this for you okay and in the night we should eat it um, with so, not so much uh, heavy so you can sleep uh, well we are going to speak more about the night later but the point is that if you couldn't do physical exercise during the morning early morning you should uh, think to do exercises at least one or two hours before you go to sleep in the end of the day around the sunset it's a time where some people will feel more light to do a physical exercise because in the morning they feel very lazy and they feel very heavy the best is supposed to be just after we wake up so we can put sweat out and we can release endorphins in our body of making physical exercise but this is not always possible for everyone every time so we are going to find ways in your routine that can solve the ideal with what is practical and manageable okay Ayurveda has a lot of rules we are not intending here to follow them strictly we are intending to follow them intelligently so you can have better health man management and be aware of this life force inside you and your, be focused to work be uh, willing to do the things you need to do during the day course right? okay so uh, now we are going to talk about the breakfast specifically <laughs> it's going to be funny I wait you in the other video if you want to contact me please write an email and share, like, etc, 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 this video if you want. Namaste.